welcome back to the Base Movement School video series. Um, today we've got our Intermediate Week 4 Strength Program. I'm Jazz. I'm John. And I'm going to be taking John through the program today, so make sure that you follow along with us. Um, equipment that you will need is we need some sort of towel or like a surface that's a little bit slippery, so maybe some floor tiles or some floorboards. And then we also need some sort of chair or seat, maybe a couch as well. Um, or you could just virtually use a dining room chair. Otherwise, let's get started. So first of all, we're going to start with our warm up and we're doing a bear crawl and then pairing that with an inchworm with a push up. So we're going to set up on the ground, like John up in all fours, knees up, toes down, and then we're going to do walking forwards. Cool. And we're going for 20 seconds. Good. So we're going to tr imagine you've got something on your back and you don't want that top to fall over or tip over, so we want to keep our hips nice and still. Good, almost there. A few more seconds. Good, three, two, and one. Perfect. Cool. So next up we've got an inchworm with a push-up. So we're going to do four of these. So we're standing up nice and tall, walking out as far as we can into a push-up position, and then back up as well. So you want to try and keep your legs as straight as you can. Walking out till your hands are about shoulder width apart and then bending through your elbows. So when we do our push up and we walk out, we want to make sure that we're keeping a nice flat back when we do so. Don't want to be having any sort of arching. Good. That's done. Cool. So once you've done four of those, take a second. Otherwise, we're going to get stuck back into our bear crawls, which we're going for for another 20 seconds. So setting up again in all fours, knees up, toes down, and then walking opposite arm to leg. Good. So we're going to stay nice and slow with these ones, not rushing it, and keeping a nice flat back. Don't let those hips move around too much. Good. We've got another five seconds here, guys. Almost there. Good. And done. Cool. So now we're going to go into one more set of the inchworms with the push up at the bottom. So walking out, hands under the hips, bending at the elbows, and then walking back up. Good. So that's one, three more to go. Good. Walking up, making sure that you reset so you're nice and straight up. In a standing position, walking up, keep those legs as uh, tall as, you, uh, as straight as you can. Good, last one here, guys. Perfect, cool. So take a second, grab a drink of water, otherwise, we're going to go into our next warm up superset. We have got moving pogos, and then we're also doing single leg skipping with that one. So, with our moving pogos, you're going to need about five meters of space, enough to do ten in a row. So we want feet under our hips, and then we're going to bounce along, keeping our legs straight, toes up. Cool. Once you've done ten, finding, getting our skipping rope. If you don't have a skipping rope, that is also fine. You can just do it without a rope. There we go. And we're doing these on one leg. So we're going to do twenty on each leg. Bouncy off the ground. And if you stumble on the rope, just reset as well. Cool. Uh, swapping legs, we'll do another 20 on the other leg now. Yeah, check if those toes up nice and bouncy off the ground. Yeah. Almost there. Try and get 20 if you need a reset, reset. Now we're going to go back to our other next super, next set of our double leg moving pogos. So again, we need that five metres of space, keeping our legs nice and straight, and bouncing off the ground. Cool. Now we're going to go back, and we're going to do one more set of 20 on each leg. If you find that you really are struggling to skip, just do double leg, two sets of 20. Otherwise, do no rope. Now you 
need your chair or your step to drop down off. Uh, we're using just our box today. And we're going to do three single leg drops onto the ground. So we're going to step up onto our box and then drop and then landing on one leg. So we want to make sure that we're getting our hips back and knees in line with our toe to not cave in. And nice soft landings. So we're going to do three on each leg. find these really, really tricky, uh, go to double leg. And make sure when you, as John was doing, sticking that landing for a few seconds. Cool. Uh, that is our warm up done. We're now going to get into the rest of the workout. So grab a drink if you need a drink, um, find a space and we do need a step and also a towel for the next section of this workout. So first up we've got a sit to stand and then we're pairing that with an eccentric push up. So we're going to stand on one leg, sitting down all the way to the box, and up. We're going to do eight on each leg. Good. With this one, we want to make sure that our knee isn't coming in too far. We want to try and keep it so that our hip and knee is in line with our ankle. Good. And we're just touching the seat and popping up. So eight each leg. If this is quite tricky for you, what you can do is down on one, up on two. Yeah, up on two. So even if you want to start the first few uh, reps on doing single leg up and down and then finish off with standing up on two legs, that's totally fine as well. Cool, so we're going to superset that with our eccentric push-up. So starting in a push-up position. And we're going to slowly lower down all the way onto our knees, pushing up, and then up on our toes again. So you're just lowering slowly for four seconds on the way down. We're making sure we're keeping that nice, strong position, making sure our core is nice and tight. Good on our knees, and then all the way up. We're aiming for eight of these. Good. Slowly lowering down. Drop to the knees and back up. Sit. Last few, you guys. Cool. So that is now our first set done. We're going to repeat that two more times. Make sure that if we do need a rest, because some of these exercises can be quite challenging, grab a drink of water, take a second, and then get back into it. Pause the video if you need. But we'll get straight back into our uh, single leg sit to stands. So with this one, you want to try and find a box roughly our height or a chair that will work as well. You want to imagine that you're sitting down on the chair. Hips go back, chest up. eight each leg. And if you need, take a rest in between each leg. It's the same motion as our double leg squats, but this time we're just doing it on one leg, so it is going to make it quite challenging. to our eccentric push-ups. Cool, so setting up in a normal push-up position on your toes, slowly lowering, up on your knees, back to your toes. If you find these really hard, try and do as many as you can, and then finish off the rest on your knees. Good, and as we can see here, when John's lowering down, he's keeping a nice flat back, <coughs> nice strong core. Good, finish up your last few here, guys. Perfect, cool. 
Awesome. So now we've got one more set of each of those exercises. If you need a rest, have a rest. Otherwise, we'll move straight into it. Now we're going to go into our last set of our single leg sit to stands and eccentric push-ups. If you do want this harder, what you can do is you can use any sort of weight and just hold it around on your chest. Could be a backpack, could be a kettlebell, could be anything. Or what you could simply do is slowly lower yourself down. So count to three or four on the way down. Eight on each leg. Last one here. That's it, John. Last few here, guys. Cool. So that is our last set of our single leg sit to stands, and we've got one more set of our push ups here. If you find that your arms are really, really sore, as I said beforehand, you can either finish off with your eccentrics, start with your eccentrics, and then drop to your knees if you need. Good. So slowly lowering down, up on our toes, lower down onto our knees and driving up. Nice strong. Last few here. Halfway there. Good. Good, try and a little slowly lower down. Cool. So that is our first super set complete. Uh, I would recommend getting a drink, maybe taking a couple of minutes before we move on to our next super set. So now we're going to go on to our second superset, which is our single leg RDL with a knee drive and then also an isometric lunge. So we're going to start off with our uh, single leg RDL with a knee drive. So if John, you want to set that one up for us? Starting on one leg. Good. So you want to think about making the letter T, extending that back leg out and then driving that knee up. So you want to hold that position with your knee drive at the top for a few seconds before going again. We're doing eight of these. That's it. Extending the back leg, driving up. Good. That's it. If you find these tricky to balance, find a wall, pop your hand up against the wall. We really want you to focus on that knee drive. Finish up the last few reps here. Yeah. Cool. So once you've done eight on each leg, we're going to set up on the ground. Cool. So we want to set up in like our split squats position. So we've got our back knee bent, front knee bent, and then we're just simply going to push our weight through our front foot and then holding up, we're going to go for 15 seconds. Make sure that our chest is up nice and tall. Good. Okay, keep going guys. Five more seconds. And drop. Cool. So then we're going to swap. Legs at the front. And whenever you're ready. Cool. Make sure that chest is up nice and tall. Good. Keep going guys. Just got another five seconds. Keep that back knee up and drop. Cool. So that is our first set done. We're now going to go into our second set. Starting on one leg, making the letter T and then driving that knee up. Good. When we do our knee drag, one thing John's doing that's really good is he's got his toe up to the ceiling as well. Extending the back leg, knee drive, and holding there. Remember, just eight on each leg. Cool. Take a second, and then we're going to swap to our next leg. Good. Good. And 
one thing you can do to help yourself balance if you don't want to hold on to the wall is find a spot in front. Look at that spot. And also have a nice slight bend in your knee. Cool. So now we're going to go into our second set of our ISO lunges. So we're going to set up the exact same way. Top back toes down and driving through that front foot. Good. You can either have your hands on your hips or have your hands down wherever. Wherever you feel like it. Go halfway there guys. Keep going. Keep holding. This one can be quite tricky. Very hard. Keep going. And three, two, one, and lower. Cool. Set yourself up. And go. That's it. Make sure we keep our chest up nice and tall. Back leg out, front knee bent. And try to keep that knee off the ground. Keep holding the entire time and rest. Cool. So for our next set of our single leg RDLs, we're going to show you with what you can do uh, if it's a bit easier and you want to add some weight. So what we've got here is an 8 kilo kettlebell. And John's going to hold this in his opposite arm to leg. So whichever leg's on the ground, he's going to hold in the leg that is extending back out. So this weight is going to want to pull you to that side. But you're going to try and resist it. And I want you to keep your chest up nice and tall. Good. That's it. Making sure we're holding that knee drive still, even though we've added the weight. Good. And eight on each leg. If you need, um, in between each rep, you can uh, find your balance and then reset. Just eight on each leg, focusing on that knee drive, toes up. You're going to finish up your last rep to you guys. Cool. And once you're done, pop the weight away. Uh, otherwise, we're going to go into our last set of our isometric lunges. So, setting yourself up, and whenever you're ready, we're going to go. Cool. 15 seconds here. Good. 10 seconds to go. Good. You want to make sure that your leg, front leg is bent. Extending the back leg out. And rest. Now we're going to swap to our other leg, and this is your last one here. Give it everything. And let's go. Another 15 seconds here. I really want you to hold the entire time. Good. Keep going, guys. You're almost there. Another five seconds here. And rest. Cool. So that is our second superset done. Go and grab a drink. Take a second. Pause the video. But for the sake of the video, we're going to go on to the third superset now. So we're going to be working on a bit of hamstring strength and then also adductor strength. So these ones are really good for preventing any sort of hamstring or any sort of groin or adductor injuries here. So first one, we need a towel and we also need some sort of box or it could be a couch or something like that, just so you can elevate yourself up off. So to start off with, we're going to go into a single leg hamstring slider. So this is also where we need a bit of a slippery surface. So we've got floorboards here. So John's going to set himself up in a glute bridge position, hips up, and then just on one leg, we're going to slowly slide all the way out. Then his hips come down, and then he resets. So out on one, back, hips down. Good. So you probably will feel it in the back of your legs here, which is perfect and what we're after. We need nice strong hamstrings for when we're doing any sort of sprinting. We're making sure our heels just off on the towel. And we're doing eight of these. Good. Once you've done eight, make sure you're swapping legs. Good. And you might need to reset the towel each time. So just popping your heel on, standing all the way out, slowly lowering, hips down, and then reset. 
Other options what you could do, if you have carpet, you can use it just pop your socks on. That works well as well. Or you can use some sort of plastic on the carpet. Pretty much anything will work. As long as you've got a slippery surface. Good. I want to try and get eight of these. So if you do need to take a rest in between, feel free. So now we are pairing this with a Copenhagen. So we will, we're going to be using our box. So John's going to set up in a bit of a side plank position. Going to put our leg through the box. Setting up with about, our calf's going to be halfway through. Hips up. And we're going to be holding for 20 seconds. Keep going. Five more seconds here, guys. Try and keep those hips up. And drop. So if you have a couch and you don't have something where you can put your leg through, what you can do is just bend your bottom knee so it doesn't have to. Good. And is, if you want this a little bit challenging, more hard, sorry, more hard, what you can do is just bring your ankle closer to the edge. Cool. And a few more seconds here, guys. And lower. Cool. Now we're just going to go through and do that over once more. And then we are finished. So setting up again with our slippery surface and our towel. Going to go hips up on one leg and then all the way out. Hips down and then reset. Again, we're doing eight of these. Make sure that we're keeping our hips up the entire time when we're letting our leg out. Set the towel, it does seem to move quite a bit on the through surface. Good swapping legs now. Last set here on this leg. Straight out, hips up, nice and slow. Might help you count to about three to four seconds. You're not rushing in and out. Good, out, hips down, walk back on two, and then out on one. Finish off the last few reps here, guys. Cool. So popping the towel away, and now we've got one more set of our Copenhagen's here. I'm gonna go for another 20 seconds, and whenever you're ready, let's go. If you're using a hard surface and it is a bit painful, what you can do is pop a towel underneath your leg. So keep going guys, we've got another five seconds here. Holding, keep holding, hips up and drop. So what this little black is, popping a towel on. Doesn't hurt you. going guys. Five. And rest. Cool. Okay. So good job guys. That is the end of your strength session today. We hope it was challenging and you were able to follow along with us. Um, make sure that if you do have any questions about any of the exercises or what equipment you can use, pop it in the comments below and either John or I will get back to you. Otherwise, make sure you subscribe to our channel, like our Facebook and follow us on Instagram because that is where we are going to be posting any notifications about the rest of these videos. Otherwise, good job today and we'll see you on Wednesday.